G'day everyone and welcome to this week's Life on the Hulls and uh, I'm in the middle of perhaps the biggest modification that I've tackled so far and it is an absolute cracker. It's taking all of my energy right now to deal with the bows of this boat and uh, and it is really is one of the biggest things I've had to tackle so far. So don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, share it out to your friends and please, please, please watch as much of the video as you can. It, uh, it really helps with us being recommended out and hopefully if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to it. This thing is getting very, very close to uh, to getting not so much finished, but certainly to the point where we're really happy with it. The internal fit out starts today. After simply months of overhead sanding, fairing, and then subsequently painting, I've come to the conclusion that uh, I'm running out of time. I need to get this boat on the water, and obviously I've cut out uh, a lot of things that really aren't necessary, and I'm just gonna get the basically the boat finished the internal lining's all done and worry about the doors and the uh, you know, maybe a couple of little bits of woodwork once the boat's on the water because I do have a mooring not far from where we live and it's pretty easy to access but I don't intend to have any big job left on the boat. There's going to be a lot of little stuff including perhaps fitting some of the, uh, the instruments while we're on the water but at the end of the day if I can get the boat on the water quicker all good. So I've come to the conclusion that uh, I've decided that I'm not going to fair and paint the walls of the inside of each of the cabins. I've got four cabins and effectively I've still got eight rooms to deal with. I have the four cabins themselves, I then have the two engine rooms and I also have the two sugar scoop storage areas that need to be done. The two sugar scoop or the hull extension areas are going to be flow coated out. So that's relatively simple. We're not after a perfect finish in there. We just want a clean serviceable room. Each of the bedrooms, however, need to be nice and tidy and really, really clean. And, uh, and what I've actually decided to do, and it's not revolutionary, it's just that a lot of production catamaran uh, that are out there basically always use internal liners and I'm actually going to do the same thing However, I am not going to paint and fair my walls. What I'm going to do is right in front of me here I have two large sheets of gloss melamine and effectively I'm going to lay up sheets of white gel coat for the walls that I've decided or Janet and I've decided will be white polished gel coat and there's going to be quite a few of those we want it to be light and airy and we're going to accent with colors and some lining boards and and you know the woodwork will help to offset some of the the whiteness of it but it'll also give me a nice quick resolution to the fairing and painting of the inside of the boat talking about here is i have two large sheets these are 1.3 by 3 meter sheets and i'm going to lay them up as white gel coat just with two layers of uh may even use just chop matting as a as a, uh, a laminate and by just putting two very very quick layers on there i'm going to end up with a very thin laminex type board i could buy laminex but it's cheaper and easier for me just to make it i can make this knock this up for you know 50 bucks a sheet these two sheets will do pretty much two rooms so i'm pretty happy with that idea uh we'll be able to cut and template the walls and uh, and basically get to that. So that's where we're heading. I've got a big job ahead of me. I'm going to white gel coat these just with a HVLP gun. I'm not going to use my big gun because it's just too much cleaning and I'll end up wasting think about a litre or two of spray gel coat just in the cleaning process of my gun. So I'm better off just to use my HVLP gun, just put four or five cups full of uh, white gel coat on here, come back, maybe backfill it a little bit with a brush just to make sure I'm getting a consistent finish, but it's gonna give it a really quick resolution to our problem. Uh, young Sam, my son, that 29 now, he's not that young, but he's actually coming down tonight to work with me. I'll get him on the templating, I'll get him on the laminating of these, he's pretty handy, and, uh, and I'm really looking forward to having a month with my son. I haven't had a month with him since he left home, really. And uh, yeah, we could have some punch-ups. Who knows? <laughs> no, no, we won't. We love being with each other. We have a great time. But yeah, spray these white with white gel coat. Come back first thing in the morning, and then we can just whack a couple of layers on them, walk away, come back the next day, start installing the internal linings. And as with everything, preparations, everything, this has had uh, two coats of TR high temperature release wax. So I'm gonna basically wipe this off and uh, always a good idea to use two towels so you don't put your hands down you don't want to be touching it but you can see the finish on these sheets is uh, is a gloss finish and we'll be able to use this for the walls for some of the wardrobe doors i guess at the end of the day so we're going to make probably about eight sheets of this i think in total we'll get us through 
the insides of the boat. And if I do one every couple of days, do a batch every couple of days, then you know that's pretty much most of the internal lining is done in four days. And that's just a matter of fitting it. I am one very lucky man. I've had uh, the offer of some help and he's just arrived. He arrived late last night. So glad to have Sam here, my beautiful boy. What was, what was the offer? Four weeks free work. <laughs> I'm holding him to that. I'm going to take anything I can get right now, but yeah, free work. It's not nothing's free. Nothing's free. It's but food and board. <laughs> yeah, food and, and board. And lots of love. You'll get lots love for the rest yeah, of your yeah, life, yeah. even though you've had it. Hey, that's not straight. Hang on, I got to pick. I got to pick on the pick on the apprentice. Here. He's not an apprentice. Sam's been around this all his life, but uh, I've got Sam cutting some cloth here, basically for our internal lining sheets. We're going to do up some of these rooms pretty quickly once we get these sheets in. They're going to look like a million dollars in there very, very quickly. So last night I got prepared for him to come down, cleaned up. Well, I didn't exactly clean up, did I? But I've, uh, I've certainly got, I've got these sheets all sprayed up, ready to go. So we're going to do a first morning of laminating and uh, we've got a project plan, Janet's on the Monday.com. And that's pretty scary, isn't it? Not sponsored. Not sponsored, Not sponsored no. by Monday.com. We but could if you be. Want to be. Yeah, we <laughs> could be. This is your perfect opportunity. Yeah, if, if we could get some sponsorship, it would be really good. I've had zero sponsorship for this whole project, and uh, I can sort of see why. But yeah, now I've got a young bloke here. Hey, who knows who we might pick up? We, we might, might launch get... it this month. <laughs> what did you say? We might launch the boat this month. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we're not launching this month, but we're getting there. We are getting there. So last month I said we're not having any more visitors. The only visitors I'm having is Sam and Janet. I'm putting the family to work with the, the love payment. So that's it. Anyway, we're going to get on with it. Back at the cutting again. So when your kids are left-handed, buy them some left-handed scissors. Well, I've had the first job you've got me doing is cutting things, which you know I can't do. So Sam's left-handed, but he's... My right-handed scissors aren't really that great for you, are they? No. Anyway, he's doing a great job. Playing to my strength. I've got an electric scissors. I've got electric scissors, but the bloody lead doesn't reach because the battery's gone. Yeah, you can only get halfway along. <laughs> Making it work here. You are. You're doing a great job. We're almost ready to lay up. Day one of 20. Back in the suit. Got the plastic bags on the feet, ready to go. Feel like I have never left. The last time I was here, we sprayed up deck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the last time I was here was spraying up the deck. So, starting with jobs we know, uh, after I've failed miserably with the scissors, and we'll find out how wonky my cuts are. Uh, but we're fiberglassing again and back at it. I'll keep you up to date on how my 20 days of free labor goes. All right, you ready to go? Let's see if you got all your measuring right. I'm, I'm trusting you. Right, uh, my gun's working. We're ready to go. We've got our tools. We're ready to fire off. You feel like what? I feel like Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad. Let's cook. <laughs> right, Walt, let's do it. You're Jess, I'm Walt. Let's cook. Job number two on day one of Sam's adventures on Life on the Hulls. Uh, we're templating the bedroom walls. Yeah, the internal lighting. Yeah. Yeah, so we can so cut up that glass. That we just... Yeah, so we just laid up a couple of sheets of gel coated glass. And uh, and yeah, Janet's in here going to town. What room's she in? Front room. Oh. We're going to be on top of each other. Okay, we're going into the port side room. What's your job here? 
Sammy stepped out for uh, half an hour. I think he's got a bit of a work call on, but uh, I thought I'd go and check on his progress. I left Sam alone here and uh, he's done a great job. He's basically got the beginnings of some good templates in this room. So I'm pretty pretty happy to have those templates. They're gonna look great. They're uh, exactly as I need them. And hopefully we can get them all out of one sheet, I think. I think we might have some injuries. What were the, what were the injuries? I just coated my hand in hot glue. Oh yeah, yeah that happens. Skipped a screw and... What'd you do? Put the drill bit down the side of my finger. Oh, the drill bit went into your finger? Nah, just scrape myself. First day on the job, that's good. Skipped the screw. That's par for the course, mate. That's yeah, par for the course here on the holes. That's what we do. And uh, Sam's been flat out. I've been cutting MDF strips and he's been making the templates for our walls and uh, that's so exciting. Because you think about it, all I have to do is lay that over those gel cage sheets, cut the sheet, stick it on, the wall's done, and, and this all this green's gonna disappear pretty pretty quickly. So I've had a look in this room here. We've decided we're going to actually apply the raptor that we did in the saloon and on the hard top outside to just this area here and from here onwards, which is the roof of our master suite cabin. Um, from here onwards will be a soft liner. But I'm going to just spray that on there because it'll speed up the process. Uh, just get this little bit fared here and then down to the seam. And then from there down will be a white gel coat sheet. So it's going to be nice and crisp and easy to clean. And the nice thing is that I won't be hiding anything behind uh, any bad workmanship behind fairing and, uh, and behind lining. So if you have a look over here, he's actually started to template the walls here so that wall there will be white this wall, wall will be white and then white here and then we'll be able to accent with uh, wood trims and obviously bedding and soft furnishings in general probably have way too many cushions because she she does love the cushions she doesn't like a lot but i see some blokes beds that have got a hundred cushions on that would just give me the shit I'm triple checking because I've got a, an unstraight wall here, but it's like a game of Tetris, isn't it? It's like, it's like a big origami that's all folded together, and it's like yeah. very structurally strong. It only, only works once. Yep. Wanted to ask you, did you want to go here? Yeah, we're going to go up. And what about this? We'll leave it oh, that's going to have a separate liner. Okay. Yeah. Liner. I might do this with cardboard then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll just, just, I'll just put, do it. I'll put a chip uh, of exactly. uh, yeah. there, and yeah. then I'll come across here. Battery back on charge. Yeah, yeah. I had to change the batteries on the drill. I had to dig through about 25 piles of different things to find <laughs> the, bat the second battery. Indeed. And I remember to put the other battery on charge. Well, that, so that's, that's good. I've trained you well. Put it away, not down. Well, uh, job site inspection late afternoon. What did you get done today? Some sanding up your fiberglassing. <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't expecting that Are you that one. serious? Yeah. <laughs> it was big bubbles. What did you do? You sanded out the wardrobe. Yeah. Ready for flow coat. Yeah, you know it's great as I'm filming and there's other noise going on in the boat. That's really good. That means I'm not doing it. Right, I'm going to go down and have Sam. This is the end of day side inspection. End of day one of the slave labour. I shouldn't say that. How'd you go, bro? Yeah. Done all right. Yeah, good. No, that's good. We've got some nice templates, nice done. templates done here. We've got little bits of cardboard. Geez, that's not very neat. Might have to do that one again. Just remind me to add a bit to that. I'll just do it again. Yeah, I think it's probably a good idea. But anyway. Cool. Hang on, Sam. 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 There's a new standard for employees here at Life on Hulls, and that is to have a coffee in bed. And Sam bought me a coffee in bed. I'm not going to give him coffee in bed, but he bought me a coffee in bed this morning. I said to Janet, it's time that you start bringing me coffee in bed. She just laughed at me. After Sam had been to gym, I was still in bed at 7 o'clock. Yeah, stop that. Is it, is it fully 
I don't think we're going to get the choice. I think we have to pull the middle of this. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we'll lift the lower. Come back later, I'm gonna set that table up. We'll be able to sit them on that table. Oh, actually. Day three. Day three. What are we doing? We're on, we're Instagramming. No, 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 we're spraying. <laughs> <laughs> we're all ready to go. Well, there is, we've been Instagramming. A lot of it work being done. Yeah, we're ready to spray up the next lot of sheets that I gelled up yesterday afternoon. So, this will be sheet three and four of potentially 12. We may need 12 of these. Uh, I'm thinking probably maybe, maybe even more, but at least we'll get break the back of it, won't we? Mate? Yeah, I just want to get the um, the bedrooms done so we can have a full wide out. In yeah, the, uh, a wide out. Yeah, that'd be good. In the in the in the bedroom, so we'll get we'll get there. Bedroom should be done this week. Cool. That's the plan. Hello, mate. How are you doing? How are you? How are you? Good. Well, who heard you come to? Rescue your dad, get him moving. Like These are our bedroom wall panels. Very nice. They look perfect, eh? They look beautiful. Yeah. These yeah. are the templates. That's amazing what it does. Like, oh, yeah, we're just yeah, hanging them in. We just, just load up two more in here. Start to fill. Good. Right up against that wall. Uh, yeah, let's turn it around. Yeah, right up against that wall. Yeah, that's the wall. Yeah, yeah. Right up against that so is that the top? Oh, that's a try. It could be. It could have been in the wrong. Yeah, that's enough. That's perfect. Does that give you enough? Well, I'm trusting in Sam's templating here. Cool. Let's cut it. Well, oh, no, let's fit it, mate. Do it. Well, we'll see how good your templating is, mate. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, we will find my, out. Uh, four years of engineering degree. If yeah. I can actually measure something. Well, we made these panels flexible enough to be able to get them through. Flat on the tap on the bed. Yeah. Well, it won't hold it up on the bed. Bring it back this no, way. Bring it back to me. If I get in there, it's not going to work. It will. You have to come in. Oh, it's not going to work. Well, hang on. Hang on. Can't lay down. Okay. Can't lay down. That's why I need you in there. Yeah. That's it, right Now you can lay it down. Off the walls, it might fit. Well, I might tuck in behind it. The screws. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Yes. Look at what a difference, eh? There's a big gap at the top, isn't it? <laughs> It won't be when we get it in there. I'm can joking. It, it it? Just no, don't break it. No, down at the bottom. Can no. get in behind it? No, because I cut it perfectly because my templates are so good. It's been so. It's been like two days since I made this up, so I'm just like trying to put it in. It's messing with your brain. It is messing with my brain. We've got a long one here. We need to work it out. But luckily, yeah, this yeah. is yeah. this here is actually the door of the bedroom and that wardrobe door. So yeah. if we template it triangularly like we did the other one, That'll be perfect, then we can move this somewhere else. I'm being blinded by the reflection off the wall. <laughs> the future's so bright, you've got to wear shades in here now. You're on the wrong side, aren't you? Slide it in. Yeah. This is making it. Hang on. Right. 
drive it in. Yeah. Oh. Drive it back out. All right, go harder. Push, push. That's it. It's in. Oh, oh, oh! It's a perfect sound. That's not bad here. It's good there. It's mm. just a bit. Yeah, sand. you kind of want to take on there. Yeah, it's just like a little. Oh, I'll pass that. <laughs> not, not sort of right. shipwright stuff, but it's quite. Might, have, might have some strikes on, this, on the job side if we keep hearing stuff. Like Given that. it's only second day on the job, I'll, I'll give him, I'll give him that. Shall we? Yes. I can be saying great job. We, we, free, we did, we did sick. free, we did freehand. We did freehand. It. Yeah, that's looking great, though. You're all right up there, <laughs> Gollum. <laughs> My precious! <laughs> You're sitting up there like <laughs> going in the corner. Because it's called. So Obi-Wan is calling me Gollum, isn't that nice? <laughs> I give him a nice way. No, I'm Yoda. Gollum. <laughs> no, you're not Gollum, you're beautiful. You're Yoda, yeah, I thought yeah. so. I'm with Yoda. I'm pretty happy. Instantly we got a result and uh, that's, that's a win, I reckon. We laid up another two shoots this morning and that'll pretty much do the rest of this cabin, so that's Four sheets per cabin. Holy hell. We've got a lot of offcuts. We've got a lot of offcuts that we can use now. So for the smaller sections. It's a damn sight faster than sanding and fairing. Oh, it's just <laughs> fairing and sanding is eroding me. Eroding me. Eroding me. I think he's a bit excited. I'm very excited. <laughs> well, I cannot believe how much work we are going to save here. Just, we'll just, we'll just keep going panels as we go. Yeah. Just keep them pumping out. <laughs> Beautiful. We've just demolded these second lot of sheets and they're perfect. We've got a little blemish here. We think that's where we're just, you know, we're not trying to put too much gel coat in. We're trying to keep the weight down a little bit, but that's okay. We can actually cut around that. So that little blend there, it's like a little tripe. And uh, that happens occasionally when your gel coat's too thin. So maybe I'm going to put an extra cup full of gel coat into these panels just to. Uh, mitigate that problem but yeah that's another template there so that'll complete the the surrounds of the bed all right so as i mentioned we've got a little bit of a imperfection here um, this is sheet three of the four that we've made and sam can get back to templating with the excess mdf that we've got here what are you doing in there more fairing fairing right out and i've got oh, the final Bedroom wall sheet. There's instant gratification when you cut these sheets. There you go. That looks, that's going to look unreal. Is that? Yes, I still need to trim this one. Yeah, cool. We we'll just need to block something against it. That was eight inches. I'm your dad. I taught you that way. This box was eight inches. Come on. <laughs> can't tick the thing that says that it's safe for you for kids on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> it's never safe. You never know what you're going to get in it.